the only thing I could think of is the what ifs and that this needs to, to be addressed and not happen again. Gina Hernandez says she left work Tuesday night in tears. Her 10 year old son Victor has autism and her seven year old son Angel has cerebral palsy and epilepsy. She says they were left outside unsupervised in the Garton Elementary School parking lot for about 15 minutes. It was weird. Angel Hernandez says his teachers told him and his brother that their dad was out front. They were sent out the door without an adult seeing them off. Me and Victor were told to go outside. When we went outside, there was nobody. Like, our, tr our dad's truck wasn't there. Angel and Victor wandered the parking lot looking for their dad's truck. When they realized he wasn't there, they tried to get back into the school. We, um, like, knocked on the doors and no one answered. My husband actually came and found them by the dumpsters. Gina says the gap in time between her boys being alone and their dad showing up is especially terrifying because of what Victor has done in the past. He wanders. There's an interstate right there. It's right off of one of the major interstates and he likes to go up the thing when he's bad. He'll go up and and try to make it onto the interstate and teachers have to stop him. Des Moines Public Schools sent me a statement saying parents text the Metro Kids program when they arrive to pick up their kid. In this case, the employee walked the wrong kids to the door and failed to stay with Victor and Angel until they were in the care of their parents. The employee has been put on leave as the school district investigates. In the meantime, Gina says they don't know what to do about after school care. We don't know that we can continue to entrust them in the care that they're getting at the school. Now, Gina works in child care herself and says the district originally apologized shortly after this happened, saying they were understaffed. She says that's no excuse for her boys to be left outside unsupervised. We're live in Des Moines. Scott Carpenter, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.